about uh, grouping and, and sharing. Uh, I found some groups still have some problem, but I think those groups are uh, new group. Uh, so I, I think uh, I found it yesterday and I got uh, enough reply. So is there any problem or questions regarding uh, grouping? Group boy. Group D. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, 그러니까 그것도 K조 특히 어 처음에 나한테 했을 때 매주 이렇게 업데이트하는 걸로 보냈지. 그랬지. 알아. 그러니까 그러고 나서 내가 했던 것 같아. 오케이. Okay? 그래서 again. This PowerPoint and, and Excel file, you don't have to send me, okay? Some groups send me, oh, this is a homework and this is a homework. No, you don't have to. Just at the very beginning, make sure your PPT and Excel files uh, is uh, shared with me. That's all you need to do, okay? You don't have to send, you don't have to do anything. Because as you know, I always <laughs> can check your uh, PowerPoint and Excel. And all you need to do is just uh, you collaborate and you uh, do your task in there, okay? Uh, especially the PowerPoint, you have a section. You know what I mean, section? 거기 보면 section이라는 기능이 있어요. 알죠? 이게 슬라이드를 하나의 그룹 잡을 수 있는 거. There's a, a function or a feature called section, so you can combine a certain number of slides so it's very uh, good to have it. So in section, you can call uh, every week. You have a one section, another week, you have another section, and, and so on. Uh, you, you, you need to find out what, what's the good feature. Uh, even for the uh, Excel, you have a many, you can create many worksheet, right? You can create many worksheet. So each worksheet, you can, uh, complete your task per week. Well, sometimes you may need to have a more than one worksheet is okay. For example, uh, September uh, 10, that will be the name of the worksheet. You know what I mean, worksheet? I like to spend some time today about uh, Excel. You know, you can have many worksheets here, here, here. So this one we can say uh, September, um, uh, uh, September, uh, some uh, something like that, and you do uh, your uh, task, and then next week you do uh, uh, like that. Okay. You can always correct your previous PowerPoint Excel. Even two weeks ago, oh, we made some wrong, you go back and you update, it's okay. Uh, that's the one way of uh, advantage of sharing files. And you can, the main point is that you have to collaborate, you learn uh, from these collaborations, okay?
Any questions? Uh, let me see. Let me see what I uh, can log in here. I don't assign any textbook. Well, again, I don't assign any textbook, right? All you need to have is the uh, PPT file, lecture notes. But that doesn't mean uh, that's all you need to have. Well, if you need to study more, there is an internet. You can find your own references to study further. I don't know each one's background. Uh, you need to find, you need to uh, find a certain section called equilibrium. Then you, you enter equilibrium and you can study. But all you need to have is that uh, lecture note I give you. Okay? Uh, oh, no, this is the. Okay. Uh, I just want to show you what I do with the sharing files. If I log in with my account, and <coughs> since each group shared with me, I can see all the uh, shared files. Do you see that? If I see uh, K, if I open this K, uh, I can, of course, review what you have done. And so I'm checking uh, Sunday and Friday and Tuesday, anytime I have a, a time. So uh, don't try to finish just on Tuesday, which <coughs> most of you do. Uh, you know, you spend the whole week, uh, you collaborate, you, you make progress. Anyhow, uh, so this is what I see. This is a group K.
듣고 영어로 좀 바꿔놨죠. 지금 봐요. 수업 끝나고. 이번 어, for the uh, PowerPoint, as you can see that uh, all list of the shared file you you created. Okay. Even you did uh, one hour ago or yesterday, I can see everything here. So, for example, K. Where is a K? <coughs> this is a K, you see? Uh, so K is not uh, shared here. So I don't want to do that. Say, uh, who is, uh, Q is not here. Uh, okay, let's say E, E, raise your hand. Okay, I'll open yours. And uh, he, I uh, would like to spend some time, like a 30 minute, to go review of this task. Okay, uh, <coughs> we just pick uh, one group, uh, PowerPoint and Excel, and then I, I will go through and please uh, learn how uh, the important point I, I would, I'm gonna make. Okay. And then, more importantly, if one of them and any other groups learn new things from my review, please update it, okay? Uh, task, as I mentioned, task one, two, three, whatever you, we, we, we're gonna continue to work on, but you always update, uh, you uh, wish to do that. So uh, if something is not right or something you knew something, uh, you learned new things and please do so. Okay, this is the uh, group, what was it? E. Yeah, please write down uh, group E here. Again, raise your hand, uh, group B. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Group E, who is the leader? Uh, okay. Now, assignment one, um, here is the problem statement. Here is the problem statement, and we do have a, how many spring do we have? We have a full spring. On top, we have a one spring, and, and bottom, we have a, a second, third, and a fourth spring. And, and W1 and W2 is the external load. Actually, these all one, uh, second, third, and fourth springs are aligned along one axis. Am I right? It's not here, here, here. But I think they already know that, but just for the, uh, for the convenience, you got this draw. Am I right? Okay, so it's important to have them aligned together. Okay, spring set two, three, and four. So given characteristics or uh, given <coughs> given conditions, I would say given condition, not the characteristics. Characteristics is uh, some uh, attribute, uh, but the better word will be given conditions. And weight is a W1 and W2, and spring constant is K1234. And now we like to find the deformation of each spring and X1234. And, and force, force working on, or force exerted by 
each spring or forces in each spring will be F1234. Okay, it's very important to clarify what's the problem statement. In engineer, we always need to clarify the problem. Before solving, we need to clarify the problem. Clarify problem means that usually you have to have a geometry, you have to have a loading condition, you have to have a material properties. As you, we reviewed in, in uh, three, five, one flow charts, we always have to have a forces clearly defined or applied to materials and material property and deformation. Deformation is including all geometry and so on. So if we, I would say this is a geometry, we have a forces and we have a material properties. Okay? And then what we like to find is the how much it deformed and how much forces unknown. I think it's very well done. And now, I want to move this place. Yeah. Now, uh, solving problem, part one. Part one, I think, is the upper part. Okay, this, uh, this part. Uh, w1 and, and this is called part one application of a plus one module so force equilibrium first of all is the first part is the w1 this equilibrium equation uh, I would say equilibrium equation rather than just force <coughs> I'm not trying to correct that I'm just making a comment okay so this will be a equilibrium equilibrium conditions and this one uh, very importantly this will be a uh, uh, when you do uh, some equilibrium even simple even complicate always to define coordinate okay coordinate means that here I think you define a this one will be the X Okay, it's a downward is X. So force equilibrium, you have you have a uh, uh, some this one. You only consider this upper uh, body. So there will be a F one and there will be a W one, right? You equilibrium. You have to choose a certain object. And I think this one uh, is not clearly mentioned, but it, 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 this equation is applied to uh, this upper body, and the force will be W1. W1 is a plus, right? Why plus? Because we chose this one as the positive direction. And now minus one, minus one is this one. Why minus? Because again, the positive is this way. So equal to one and equal to zero. And the second, uh, we have another object here and apply to uh, F1, and F2, and F3. And then there will be another F1 and another FW2, right? So equilibrium wise, again, downward is a positive. So W2 is the positive. And F1 is the positive, and I will say minus equal zero to be consistent with the upper uh, equation. So I will say Fx equal zero, and I will say Fx equal zero. So minus means that F1, 2, 3, 4 is going always upward, and then that's why uh, we have a uh, I mean, do downward. But another important point in this procedure is that sometimes we don't know the reaction, direction of the reaction, direction of the reaction, which means that it is very obvious you can estimate the reaction is going upward, right? But sometimes we don't know 
how this reaction will go, go this way or that way, which we may not know. So in, in that case, always reaction you assume as a positive. Positive, this is a positive, right? So you can choose this way. So F2 and F3 and F4. In that case, this will be the plus, right? So after long, I mean, uh, we didn't go through yet, but once we solve all the equations, and F2 is happened to be negative. What does it mean? It means that, oh, we assume this direction. Minus means that the direction will be uh, reversed, has to be reversed, okay? So don't be afraid to choose any direction this way or that way is okay. Any direction is okay. But be sure that which direction you chose at the very beginning and result to say is a negative, then the, at the very beginning, the direction has to be the other way. Okay? It's very simple, but very important in general uh, situation as well. Uh, again, I'm trying to review very simple, very simple, but the procedure and, and all uh, and all the procedure is very generic. It can apply to any uh, structure, including three-dimensional things. Okay, anyhow, I just want to uh, make very important point. Uh, right now, it's easy to estimate direction of a reaction. So, uh, this team already uh, chose the right reaction course. Okay, now materials or material properties and spring constant, okay, spring constant will be K1234, which is okay, and Fn equal Kn, Xn, N equal 1, 2, 3, 4. It's very nicely done, okay? It's okay to write that. And deformation, uh, I would say deformation condition and X S1 uh, it didn't say what is S1 but we can assume that S represent spring okay uh, but I would say uh, uh, spring and uh, mass system And, and okay, well, it, it can be implicitly understood. So S1, spring one has deformation of S1, which means that this spring S1 can have, I would like to add something, this one is the X1, and something like this one will be the X2, and X3, and X4. Again, this one has to be aligned, right? But just for clar uh, clarity, we just split them. But we have to understand they have all uh, the same axis, right? Because the X is not defined here, not clearly defined. Uh, even though it's, it's, we know them, but it's better to define the X one as well. And the formation of uh, X1, X2, X are the same. Ah. Oh yeah, we already mentioned here, uh, here Xn is the uh, deformation, deformation of spring Sn, right? Uh, we better, uh, because the, uh, during this course, I want to, uh, deliver, or I want you to learn how to make PowerPoint in more proportional way. Uh, so the point of the making PPT file is that the most important point is clarity. 
and logical flow. 그러니까 이게 모든 정보가 정확하게 클리어하게 있어야 돼요. 그 다음에 로지컬하게 있어야 된다는 게 아주 파워포인트 중요해요. That's the one of the reason I want you to work together and, and, and deliver or communicate. Uh, I hope that you learn what, what I meant uh, through uh, these collaborations. Anyhow, XN, uh, we know that, but we have to define XN is the deformation of the XN. And then a deformation of this, this are the same. Uh, what equation wise we need to say uh, we need two and three and four right okay uh, so it's pretty much well done here and now this is a solving part well solving part is not so important not so difficult as long as you have a clarify the problem as long as uh, what are the equations we have to consider? And the rest of them is just follow previous all, I mean, solve the older equations we defined, right? Is it okay? Okay, so part one, uh, part one means uh, again, uh, it didn't say part one here, uh, so on a, that's another unclarity. So we need to better define what is the part one. Part one is the uh, upper, uh, I would say the upper part, say uh, spring one. And force equilibrium, uh, we, uh, we repeat. Uh, so I would don't like this one because this one is not the summation of F. So summation F, you have to write this way, right? You, this one and that is not quite right. And I would like this one goes to where? To here. Okay? Uh, I don't know when this group, uh, group E, group E, I forgot, group E, right? Uh, it's done. Uh, it's the first time I see that, but uh, it's well, well done. Now, material properties, F1, X1, uh, K1, and W1, uh, what is this? Uh, so F1 is here, and F1 is this and that, okay? And part two, uh, equilibrium, uh, this is spring two, and three, and four, right? Force equilibrium, and again, we don't need this. I mean, it's not right to have here, and this is the one. Okay, and material properties is this, and deformation <laughs> condition is like that, but I don't, we don't need this, introduce another unknown, X, right? Right? We don't have to introduce another unknown. Uh, this may uh, cause confusion. Uh, this is the equation one and equation two. So let's count how many equations. <coughs> let's count how many equations. Equation one, right? This is the equation one. And this is the equation two. And three, four, five, and six, and seven, right? How many? Huh? Where? Ah, here, sorry. And eight, right? <laughs> so totally we have eight equations. How many unknown do we have? Well, as defined at the very beginning, we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So total unknown is eight unknowns, right? And now here again, the number of equation, this is a two, and this is the, uh, uh, it's confusing. Uh, sorry, this is the uh, number of equation two, 
and this is the how many number of vacation four and this is the how many uh, okay this is not condition right so this is the two so we have a total two so totally how many so totally vacation wise we have a uh, eight vacations and which is the same as eight unknowns so we have to make sure how many unknowns and how many equations. Okay, uh, by solving all the equations and, and we got this, uh, again, I'm sure we don't need to have this expo, but it's still okay, you, you, you can have it. But uh, you can just have this one, okay, and okay, and okay. So, the point here is that um, the <coughs> F1 equal K1 X, X1. Uh, <coughs> where is X1? Uh, I like to have all the solution at the end, not in the middle of it, but it is still okay. X1 is this, and X234 is the obtained <coughs> by solving all the previous equations, <coughs> this is the one. So F2 is a simply, this is the X, <coughs> so this is the X, and all you need to do is what? Multiply K2 and K3 and K4, right? And uh, again, F1 equal K1 X1, and this one uh, is what? W1. So X1 is a simply uh, W1 divided by K1. Uh, okay, so here is very important observation. I mean, solution, I'm sure you, you got most of them, uh, most of a group got the same results but observation is very important and checking all the procedures make them clear clear is is the key okay this is not complicate problem at all but you have to define what to uh, problem statement and equilibrium and material property and geometric condition and solving and here are the equation we have to flow like this and now here, one important observation. Observation means that we, as an engineer, after we got the solution, we have to examine, uh, look into the uh, results, uh, what this means and why we got this. This is the kind of discussion and, and summary, which is very important. I so you got all the uh, values and you you got certain uh, numbers uh, uh, using the Excel, which is okay. But more importantly, pay attention, please. Here, F two is this reaction force, right? And what is the F one? That is a reaction force in the spring. So this F one is simply W1. But this F2 is the, this much. Means that reaction force depends on all the material properties. See, this spring has, this is a material property K1, but if we change the K1, reaction force does not change but this f2 if we change the material property the reaction forces will change right so that's very important observation then why we you got this kind of property or result well this one is a this way is a simply a statically determinate and the down one is this simply 
statically indeterminate. Statically indeterminate means that all the force reactions should depend on material properties. Okay, so here uh, I I hope that when you group E, if you open this your file, you will have all my handwritings. <laughs> and I cannot do all of them, but I certainly look at all your, your uh, PowerPoints. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to write here, Professor. We cannot solve this one. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, if I have time, I will try to answer. Okay. So, more importantly, uh, solution exact solution is not is not the one we would like to have, but collaborations through our communication that. I would like to emphasize in, in this course. Okay, uh, now in, let's go to Excel here. Uh, oops. <coughs> PowerPoint is relatively easy to manipulate or to write down. But Excel, uh, I think you have to learn, okay? I'm sure, I know you, most of you are new to this Excel, but through this course, I really like you to learn Excel as much as you can. And you can, I will happy to answer or uh, share my knowledge on Excel with you. Uh, but if you are good at Excel, you will be a, a super, super uh, engineer. Uh, I've been using Excel 30 years. Uh, I like it. <laughs> and and, and uh, I got a lot of uh, advantages of using Excel. Uh, Excel is also a programming language. You know, the, you have to know how to program. Uh, programming skill uh, is emphasis more than ever. Uh, so choose anyone you like. Uh, Excel can be your choice. Anyhow, now uh, here, I'm sorry, some of them are most in menu is in English, I mean the Korean yet, but 지금 바꿀 수 있나? 지금 영어는 깔려 있지? 영어로 추사하면 되지? Okay, I'll try to change it to uh, and this, and this, and this. Okay. 영어가 다 기본으로 돼 있는데 이게 안돼 있네. 그렇다는 얘기는 이 OS를 어, 영어로 바꿔야 되는데 윈도우하고 동일로 돼 있잖아. 무슨 말인지 알아? 근데 이제 학교에서 이걸 근데 못 깔게 돼 있잖아. 네. 방법이 없나? 아이 사람들이 좀 무식하게 이걸. 이게 영어로 다시 깔 필요가 없을 텐데. 아, uh, well, okay. 그좀꼭좀내 지난주에 얘기했는데 두원이가 잊어버린 모양이네. 자네 꼭좀좀 해줘잉. 여기 학교에다가 아마 저기 해야 되는데 아마 안 돼요 뭐야 그러지만 안 되는 거 없다 그래. 반드시 해야 돼. <웃음> <웃음> 어, 
Okay, sorry, there is still uh, most of a Korean, but I will explain the menu system. Uh, in this is a view, it's called view, and this is the equations. And now you can see, you click and you can see what equation you enter. See here, this is the equation you enter, and this is the value you enter. So if you click this one, there is a C5 and C7, and this is a color blue and color in red. And, and you can immediately see which cells it comes from. Understand? And if error, C divide <laughs> what does it mean? <coughs> well, okay. Uh, well, this is my recommendation, okay, by the way. I would like to, a, uh, This is, uh, I don't want to change yours, okay? I will have mine both here, okay? Uh, changing or not is up to you. But I, I don't want, you know, if error, if error means C5 divided by C7 is a zero, then uh, uh, you don't have to do that. Okay, it's just a C, uh, C5 and C7. And again, here is the, you don't need a if errors. If error means in most case, the, the divide by zero, then it's a <coughs> infinite, right? So just for the purpose of elimination, but it is not so uh, critical in here. So as long as you have a positive value, you got the all the, uh, all the value is it, okay, right? Now, another very important point in Excel is that, uh, now, as you can see, click, oh, C5 divided by C7. Oh, this one and this, this, and this, 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 okay. But sometimes it's just a C5, and sometimes a dollar, there is a dollar sign there, right? So there is a, some difference. Uh, uh, but more importantly, uh, it's very important is that by looking at this equation, C5 divided by C7, well, this result is very simple. You can understand what does mean C5 and what does mean C7. But imagine the input variable will be more than 10, 20, 30, even 100, and 1,000. You cannot just follow all the equation by looking at this C5. You know what is a C5? C5 is a C and 5 and this one, right? Okay? Okay? Now, you know what it means, C5, right? And C7, uh, again, this one is the same thing. But again, uh, C5 and C6, we cannot precisely find uh, which one is which. So let's say, got this result, and paste it here. It's okay, right? It's always good to have an equation, just by side by side. And again, all the equation is a symbol. W1 and W2. I wish, rather than C5, I like to use W1. And I, instead of C5, what is a C5? K1, I want to use K1, right? Would have been much nicer. So there is a, a way, uh, for, for example, I don't, we don't need a uh, unit every time because 
uh, unit, you need to define at the very beginning, okay, forces and in unit, I mean the Newton and dimensions or lengths should be in meter. Just declare one time. You don't have to uh, declare every time. And there is a reason why I delete everything. I mean, uh, this unnecessary uh, forms is that now pay attention. This is very important skill. Select them. Go to this is a formula, okay? Menu formula, and this is a, a selection. We need this is assigned name, and this is a from selection, and from the first column, and okay. Then this one. It's not only C5, but has a name W1. So when you say C5, you just click, it's a W1, it's click and K1. So now it's very simple, oh, W1 divided by K1, right? Rather than C5 and C7. And again, if the equation is very, very complicated, you easily lost, uh, what is what? And this one, again, C5 and C6 and C7, C8, C9. So at the very beginning, you all you need to do is that define or sign this name. And then enter, you just enter these uh, symbols. F6, what is F6? F6, okay, this F6 is okay uh, because X1 and X3 is the same as X2. And here is the same. I like to use X2, right, rather than, rather than uh, F6. This is a search and replace. I like to find this symbol. and then empty, so I delete them, okay? And then again, select them, and formula, define name from left column, then it's automatically have a name, and so X2, and this one, now you can say X2, okay? And of course, you can just, <laughs> a. Uh, F6, you can say, you can click while you are uh, enter, it's okay. So C5, what is a C5? C5 is, what? What is a C5? Oh, C5 is here. Oh yeah, that's right. So C, again, C5, we don't know what is it. But if you say C5 is a W1, it's much clear, right? And F2, uh, F2 is what? F2 is the F6, what is F6? F6 is a this, uh, F6 times, uh, so this one will go to here, and C8 will go to uh, here. And here uh, we say uh, X2 because X2 and X3 and X4, is, uh, they are all same. Okay, I like to show you the formula. This is the equation you enter. You can easily trace what each uh, cell means. Any questions on here? Again, it's very important, uh, very important uh, skill in program. This is again, it's also programming. Uh, now, another one is that, what is the Excel? Excel, we want to 
a, a change variable and get the some value uh, from equations. But another feature of the Excel is to, to be able to draw graph and, and uh, so that we as an engineer can uh, get the idea very quickly. So what I like to do is that uh, this is perfectly okay, but another way you do is that uh, I like to say, uh, uh, I like to have this one as the column. Uh, transpose, where is it? Transpose, transpose. Uh, I put into this way, and I put this one into uh, this way. And this one will be a, uh, this one will be input, right? And, and this is my preference. I always chose color input as blue. Well, you don't have to, but this is my choice. And this one is the output, and I always color them uh, as a red, as an output. So this is my rule, but you can see very quickly oh, what is the input and what is the calculations. Now, this one was the value, and, and just copy and paste and but uh, reverse the column and uh, now equation one uh, okay so I just want to uh, uh, copy and reverse and an equation so I like to copy equation and reverse Oops, where is the equations? Okay. You may wonder what I'm doing now. What I'm trying to do is that this is the input value, and this one is the output, and another input, another output, another input, another output, and I like to have uh, many sets. That's what I'm trying to do. And x1, uh, for example, this one, you can copy here, and copy here, and copy here, x3 is here, and 3, 4 is here, and five, uh, 1, and 2, and, and 3, and, and here. Okay, uh, it says W1 and X1. What is a W1 and X1? W1 and X1 is a this, right? But I like to change it W1 and X1 is a here. So, I'm gonna delete them out. And then, uh, then it says, oh, reference, what does it mean? Where is the W1? Because I deleted, Excel cannot find them. In that case, it says reference. So I'm gonna assign this one as a new, and, and uh, this, newly defined, yes, yes, yes. Oops. Uh, we have to define this one as well. So this is exactly the same as previously done, right? Now, the reason we made this way is a, a long row-wise is that now I'm, I'm like to make uh, many cases, okay? Many cases is like that. Uh, I don't know how many, but uh, say uh, 14 cases. We, uh, I wanna show this one. 
And then I want to give a name. Please pay attention. Name. This is only W1, right? But I want this column as a W1. So you can select them and you can have a name. Now this whole column is a W1. So if you choose W1 here, you select W1 at the same row. So again, I like to select them all and, and give a name as a column and I replace all the name. Means that this whole column is the K4 and the whole column is the what? X1. Now you can select them, copy and paste everything and as you can see here, now you can change 10 and 10 and, and 20, 30, any value you wish to enter. And you can see these values are changing according to uh, this value, right? The reason is that the really important point is that this equation is all same. Right? This equation is all the same, but this W1 is the only this first same row. And that's why all you need to do is just enter one equation and just copy and paste. Say, uh, I want to change W1, okay. Uh, say uh, exactly the same value and copy paste, which is okay. And now I want to change W1 and this one W2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and, and so on. Uh, instead of this typing, I like to this upper plus one and copy and paste, and it's automatically uh, increasing. One, 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 plus, plus, plus. Now, as you can see that, oh, X1 is changing, but look at them. Oh, yeah. Of course, they are changing, right? They are changing. Actually, that's not what I'm trying to show you. Uh, I will get back. Uh, 50, all 50. I like to change the K1 as all 25, and this one, I uh, like to change this one, say plus five, and so copy and paste means that 35, and, and 45, and, and so on. So what I did is I changed the K1, and look at the value, Something is not right. Ah, see, this one it should not be K1. Have to be K2, K2, 3, 4, right? So what I was trying to show is that if we change this K1, only K2 has to change, others remain same. That's what we have equation, as you can see here. Uh, X234 is the old K W1, W2, K234, right? So it's very important. I'm glad uh, it's a group E, right? Raise your hand. I'm very glad you made a mistake. <laughs> You had to make a mistake to learn something. Uh, so in that sense, it's perfectly okay to make a mistake. But more importantly, once you did something, you have to check and get the, try to draw some result and try to understand by numbers.
Uh, I'm sure uh, this group, what they did, they just give a number and got the answer, and then what? Uh, here are the results. See, no observation. Oh, why 25? Why two to five? Try to think as an engineer. See whether it makes sense or not. This is the common mistake 99% of engineers to make mistakes. Okay? Even my uh, great, uh, master degree student, he always made mistake this one too. He just get the equation, he got the result, and he get the number, here are the results. That's it. But that's not the end of the story. You have to try to uh, change some value and draw some physical sense. Okay? That is very important. Uh, okay. I don't mean you always do that, okay? Uh, so, uh, we need to change. This one is okay. Now, you see, why did they make this, this simple mistake? One of the reasons was that instead of a K1, they use see, they use a C5. Right? Oh, no. C7. Very co confusing to choose a C K2, right? So again, you understand how important to start with a symbol rather than just a C5 and C7 and C8. So this is another advantage. You, you choose this one. So you simply, now how to correct that? Very easy, K2 and K3 and K4, that's it. And now this guy is automatically chosen as X, so uh, should be uh, okay, right? So all you need to do is change this one and copy and select and paste. Now, as you can see, we change the uh, K1 here. See, you change, we change the uh, value here. This is the value we change, but the look at the value, uh, only X1 is changing, but others remain same. It is obvious from this equation or from this uh, problem statement, right? Because the, it, it, we change the K1 here, then only X1 change is not the X2, X3, 4, and F2, 3, 4, they don't change, right? Okay, so again, uh, you can do, say, I want to select, oops, I want to select this, I want to select them, And then, you, you know what I chose, and I'm trying to draw a graph Oops, I wrong, uh, I meant this one. So what I draw is that we change this uh, K1, this X axis K1, and this one is the X1, because we change the K1, the X1 will be, if, what if we, we have a stiff K1? K1 is stronger, 
that x1 will decrease, right? Because k is a, a stiffness, resistance to deform. So, <coughs> and then, where is the other one? <coughs> I will do, do it again, this one, and select uh, this, and insert, uh, and this. Okay. It's very important uh, observation. What is the X? X X is a K1. Try to imagine what is a K1, and we change the K1, and this graph shows the X1, of course it's a decreasing, but does not affect any x2, x3, and x4. It makes sense, right? And now another graph you would get is that this and, and uh, that, and, and do the same. Uh, this, very important, uh, what is this? Oops, I probably didn't choose enough. This and that, uh, and, and uh, this and that. Uh, so when we change K1, X1, 2, 3, 4, they don't change, right? Yes, it's obvious. So this one is, you can say, F versus X, I mean the K1. This, you can say, you can say, uh, what is this? X versus K1. And then I would like to add this one to uh, here. And get the result here and, and, and there. Okay. Now another result may uh, you can generate will be a uh, K two versus this, and you can have a uh, graph. But in this case, you need to change uh, uh, some value, and you fix certain value, okay? So uh, X1 is a keep constant and others will change along with the K2, but they changing all the same, right? X2, three, four, why? Because K2, X2, three, four, five always deform together, right? And this and that, you can do the same thing. Ah, a little bit complicated, but this is very uh, interesting um, result. This is a K2, and K2 is the one of the spring, and but F1 reaction forces really depends on this uh, K2 depends on uh, K2. Again, K2 uh, changing the force, F2, F F3, and X, they all changing, right? Uh, if we look at these equations, 
And you can see this uh, K2. Uh, if you change the K2, and K2, K2 here, but here is the only K2, K2. But again, uh, my, my point is that it's more important to make a, some observation as I do now here, uh, rather than just get the value and no discussion, then uh, you can uh, not much uh, things you learn. Okay. Okay. So I like to spend uh, in today enough uh, on how to use a PowerPoint and Excel, uh, especially Excel. The main point is that two things: how to name the variable. Okay, name. This name is very important. And second, how to arrange the equation into column and rows. See, Excel is always have a, a worksheet has always column and, and, and rows. So you need to plan oh, what will be the rows and what will be the column. And this is the one of the example I mentioned. And if you use the um, a equation and the, this will be very simple and you can now you have a uh, 15 rows, but you can have 100 or whatever numbers without uh, much effort. You just enter simple and cut and paste and graph. Okay. Well, this first year I uh, spent about one hour to 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 show you, but it's a skill. Uh, I I really like you to learn and then uh, use it. For next, not just the next one, but whole semester. Okay? So, again, uh, I'm not going to grade your results. Oh, this one, you have a wrong, wrong results. Wrong results. And uh, wrong results. It's okay. I'm glad you made a mistake. I can give you a plus. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, more important is the, you make mistake. Don't be afraid to make mistake, but you have to learn from that and then you have to, to improve. Okay, so uh, uh, tomorrow I will have also in class, okay? Uh, uh, my intention was the one time is in class and, and the second time is the online, but I like to spend time in, in class until we review whole uh, course and the whole uh, strength of material one. Okay, so I, I uh, uh, any questions on what I cover today? Uh, I especially those are from uh, foreign countries. Anna, right? Is there any problem? My uh, delivery or homework is okay. It's okay. It's okay. And who else is the uh, foreigners? It's okay. Are you being here? It's okay. So feel free to make any suggestions in. in uh, in the class, I mean the managing class, okay, other than technical issue. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. And those who like to change the, your PowerPoint Excel, please do so today, okay? Uh, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the
여기가 이게 교수님 메일이야. 여기는 떠는데 여기가 교수님 메일이야. 다른 스타일로 다른 건 굿나잇 스타일. 아 이게 내 컴퓨터랑 좀 달라가지고 있는데 다시 한 번만 나한테 한번 어, 요청을 한번 해봐. 어, 내가 한 번은 같은데 여기에 왜 공유 번호가 따로 없지? 공유하면은 아, 열기에 보면은 이거 공유 보기가 있는데 이게 이게 없네. 근데 이게 어, 공유할 때 내가 이게 저장이 돼야 되는데 저장을 안 하는 거. 내가 이거 본 적이 없는데 내가 첫번 안했는데 다시 한번 리뷰 그러니까 저기 요청 좀 해줘봐 그럼 사고 가실래요? 여기 지금 한번 해봐봐 만약에 엑셀에 잠깐만 지금 한번 해봐 내가 어저께도 여기 내 이걸로 한번 했었거든 파워포인트 그러니까 여기는 지금 뭐야 오픈 보면은 쉐어드 위드 미가 있거든. 그러니까 나한테 쉐어된 거를 보여주는 거야. 자네가 그 조, 뭐야 이게 기가 지금 아직 없어. 맞는데? 그러면은. 아니 근데 이게 내가 여기다가 항상 제가 내가 뭐를 남기거든. 그래서 만약에 안, 안 남겼으면은 뭔가 something 어 저희 저희끼리 보니까 되는데 일단은 그거 했으면은 내가 이미 저거 뭐야 그. 이걸로 지금 연락이 올거 아니야. 다음 스톱인가? 네. 어. 아니야? 그럼 분이 만들었어. 그래서 우리 분이 만들어서 오늘 좀 채널이 있어서 다시 한번 보여줘. 다시 한번 봐봐. 내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내내
내가 그 우리 자기한테 보낼게. 오케이. 감사합니다. 잘왜 다쳤어? 저 농구하다가 부러졌어. 괜찮아, 뭘더 보내? 뭐라? 자기도 다치게 할까? 자네가 다치게 했어? 아니 아니 아니. 다른 외부인 들어와서. 아 그래? 오케이. 수업 팔로우만 잘해. 네, 감사합니다. 수업 다시 들어올 거지? 다시 들어올 거지? 수업 다시 들어올 거지? 네. 이렇게 이메일을 받았는데. 아 잠깐만, 아까 누가 아까 누가 우리 조도 확인해 달라는 조가 누구야? 아니 그조 말고 또 우리 조도 확인해 주세요라고 했잖아. 아니었나? 어, 그 자네는 늦게 했지? 어제 저녁에 어제 저녁에 내가 확인 했는데 어제 저녁에 했는데 뭐 공동 수표를 하지 않고 그냥 드라이브에서 작성한 다음에 공유를 해서 선생님이 메일을 아좀 그렇게 하지 말라고 그랬구나 그러니까 이거 수업을 그건 자네 책임이지 그렇게 들어 그건 자네 책임이지 아 그래서 그 수업이 그게 아닌지 여쭤보려고 아니라고 그랬잖아 엑스 파워펜트 들어가서 공유와 공유를 시키라고 파일을 딱 끊어놓고 파일을 공유하면 나한테 이렇게 공유를 낮춰면 안 된다는 거 이해해? 이렇게 해야 돼요 제가 우리 조정이 옛날에 보냈는데 그걸 못 받았잖아요 혹시나 제가 나중에 보낼 수 있어요 우리 조정이 아마 조정이 보냈는데 공유가 안 돼서 조정이 올리는 거 보시고 공유할 때는 다른 사람이 아 당연히 어, 자네들이 만질 필요 하나도 없어 아, 네. 어, You do whatever you do, you do whatever you do, I see that 어. 자네가 하면 은 자네가 보여주세요 네, 네. 자네가 그 나랑 똑같아 어, 자네가 오늘 조장 저번에 조장이 보는데 똑같다고 생각하고 제이도 제이도가 그러니까 그렇게 컴포를 했어 했어 어. 이번 주만 확인됐습니다 네. 내가 제이 좀 봤지? 네네네 네, 네. 봤습니다 네, 저희가 네. 네, 오늘 처음 보는 게 아니라 저번에도 보냈거든요 그래서 나중에 어, 근데 그래, 이게 아마 빠진 것 같은데 그 이유를 따질 수는 없고 일단, 일단 확인만 한번 되면은 그 다음부터는 전혀 문제 없거든요 네, 아까 한번 확인했어요 아, 확인했어? 네, 일단 뭐 무슨 전화 그랬지? 그냥 확인 파일로 새로 말씀하셨다고 그냥 이게 와야 되거든. 그러면은 저희가 오늘 하나 더 만들어가지고. 아 그렇게 하면 잘못하면 또그 이유를 알아야 돼. 왜 이게 궁금한 그래야지 또 해보고 하면 나중에 문제가 솔빙 되면은 막. 
అనగా자체가 솔직히 안 되는 거라고 뭐라? 어떻게 자체 자체가 사용 가능하게 돼 있잖아 지금. 네, 근데 이거 옥션에 들어가서 보면 이제 사용을 못했다고. 왜 그래? 오늘 모르겠어. 아까 지금 여기 학생들 상담하는 거 기본 음력 다운하지 못해. 그 이게 영어야? 네, 네. 기본 음력. 이거 이거 하잖아. 네, 지금 언어팩 자체를 그냥 그래서 다운로드 아, 아 이거 참 사람들 진짜 답답하게 이거 누가 관리 이게 지금 밑에 3층에서 그 어, 강하게 얘기래 영어 수업하는데 이 자리, 이거 이 윈도우를 한글로밖에 안 해서 말이 안 된다고 수업도 못하고 이해 못한다고 당시 전에 좀 이슈를 만들어 네. 